I'm Robin Higgins and this is Does the Chemical Gradient Affect Diffusion? Okay, so let's review both chemical gradient and diffusion. First, chemical gradient. So, in this case we have two different liquids, hexane, which is very nonpolar, and water, which is very polar. And when you put them together, they'll have some mixing in the middle, but they mostly keep to themselves. Hexane over here, water over here. Now let's also review diffusion. So if you have a chamber, and let's say it's empty, and you put something like O2 molecules in it, at first all the molecules will be over here because you just put them there. But over time, they'll spread out and move and they'll be completely diffused or evenly spread throughout this chamber. So now we have to look at whether or not having a chemical gradient would affect this process. So let's have two different molecules. Orange will be sodium chloride and green can just be methane. So for the record, methane is very nonpolar and sodium chloride is very polar. It's actually ionic. So, uh, because of the rule like dissolves like, or similar molecules interact with each other, forming stronger intermolecular bonds, then we can realize that the methane would rather be with the hexane and the water would rather be with the sodium chloride. So now how is this going to affect diffusion? Well, it's pretty much like how you would expect. So let's say the first one we entered in was sodium chloride. So if we entered it in here, it would disperse throughout the water just like it would disperse regularly, but it would really, really avoid that hexane. And so maybe you'd get like one or two salt molecules in the hexane, but not very many. So it really would affect diffusion. And the exact opposite would happen for methane. So methane would really, really much rather be over here with hexane, even if you enter it from the same port. After a while, it'll find its way over to hexane. And again, maybe there's one or two left over in the water, but this nonpolar molecule is really going to want to find its nonpolar solvent. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How Does Chemical Effusion Affected by a Chemical Gradient? Mm -hmm.